Welcome to Books in Sum, your go-to for bite-sized book summaries. Codependent No More by Melody Beattie Codependency is a progressive condition that doesn't get better on its own, it only gets worse. This book by to Melody Beattie's Codependent No More teaches the hard truths about the nature of codependency as well as steps to take and attitudes to adopt to begin traveling down the path to recovery. It also teaches how to detach with love, why reacting is counterproductive, and how to get over the fear of feeling your feelings. The most important details are that codependency stems from taking responsibility for others, and that to recover, we have to take responsibility for ourselves. Codependency is a coping mechanism developed in reaction to someone's substance abuse. It has been linked to other compulsive disorders, such as overeating, gambling, and sex addiction, and is seen in family members of the mentally or chronically ill. To recover from codependency, we must recognize how much we've let other people's behavior affect us and take responsibility for ourselves. To begin healing, feeling our feelings, and giving ourselves what we need, we must first detach from the problem person in our lives. Taking responsibility for ourselves can sound daunting, but it doesn't have to happen all at once. When we take steps toward recovery, we feel an instant burst of freedom. Detachment is the process of letting people handle their own problems and putting the focus back on ourselves. It is based on the idea that we are all responsible for ourselves and that worrying about it won't help. Through detachment, we gradually learn how to accept reality and our faith deepens. When we cease grasping for control, we are freed from the burden of worrying about things that aren't our business and we see that the world keeps on spinning. When we're freed from the perpetual anxiety of worrying about others, our minds are clear and we make better choices about how we love and care for those closest to us. We experience serenity and give love that isn't manipulative and we start living our lives free of guilt. Maria quit her job to be closer to her husband and keep things under control, but was she actually controlling anything? Or was his alcoholism controlling her? When we try to control things that are none of our business, we end up getting controlled. We fool ourselves into thinking we can control others, but that still doesn't mean we have any agency over their feelings, thoughts, or beliefs. Rescuing is often not as extreme as what Maria went through, but it assumes that the person we're rescuing is incompetent and unable to help themselves. Instead, we should try to detach by not overreacting to events around them and watch out for feelings of anxiety or outrage, rejection or self-pity, shame or guilt. Actions matter, but in the day-to-day, -day, they won't stop the world. The most important details in this book are that the path to recovery, sanity, and happiness starts with minding our own business and taking care of ourselves. To combat low self-worth, it is important to take responsibility for our lives, not just the day-to-day -day problems, but also all our spiritual, emotional, and physical needs. It is also important to rid ourselves of the false notion that our needs aren't important and to ask ourselves what do I need to do to take care of myself. Beatty recounts the story of a fellow Al-Anon member who wanted to leave her husband, but was afraid she wouldn't be able to. She realized that other people weren't the reason her life was a mess, and that she was just using them as an excuse to avoid her own problems. Feeling your feelings is key to finding joy, and codependents often refuse to feel because it hurts too much. When Beatty got sober after 10 years of alcohol, cocaine, and heroin abuse, her counselors told her that to stay sober, she'd have to face her feeling. This is difficult territory for many codependents, as it can be frightening to admit that something has to change. However, when we allow ourselves to feel, we can discover deep truths about ourselves, our real desires, our goals, our wants and needs. The 12-step program Al-Anon is one of the greatest support systems out there for codependents. 12-step programs are simple and effective, but they also have a kind of magic that happens. They take broken people and teach them how to put their lives back together and how to move forward. A willingness to work with the program is key to getting results, and listening to other anonymous members share their experiences, strengths, or hopes is a revelation. After a while, we begin to learn how the steps work and how to apply them to our own life. Over time, the steps become both habits and a way of life, teaching us how to problem-solve and deal with emotional disturbances, as well as how to handle the roadblocks in life with grace. Melody Beattie's book by To Codependent No More by Melody Beattie teaches us that we are each responsible for ourselves and can take responsibility for our lives, emotions, and healing path. The most important idea is that we can't fix our loved one's problems, but we can fix ourselves by taking responsibility for our life, our emotions, and our healing path. To help ourselves, it is important to find a 12-step group and ask for help. An internet search can bring up a list of meetings in your area, such as Al-Anon, Adult Children of Alcoholics, or Codependents Anonymous, which are filled with people just like you. Recovery is like learning the piano, 
and requires patience, practice, and time, so take it one day at a time. We hope you found this summary helpful in your listening journey. If you're interested in diving deeper into the topic or getting your hands on the whole book, be sure to check the description below where we've included links to the book and other related products that may be useful to you. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay updated on our latest book summaries. And feel free to leave a comment with any suggestions or requests for books you'd like us to cover. Thanks again for tuning in and happy listening.